Okay, so this one, I'll be talking about the basic part of what is assessment all about. So the, top, the first part of my talk will be fundamentals and importance of assessment. So ano ba magiging basihan natin for assessment? So again, we need to go back to our standard. And the standard is the PPST or the Philippine Professional Standards for Teacher. And what is PPST? So technically, Noong 2017, this was this is already signed by the former Secretary of Department of Education. So technically, we will have the national adaptation and implementation of the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers. Okay, so what is this technically all about? So technically, it's a public statement. It has four stages and it has a seven a domain. And what are those domains? Okay, so these are the seven domains, but what is important in this talk will be the number five, which is assessment and reporting. So before we go to what is assessment all about or we're going to define it, can I uh, uh, kindly ask the participant to type, what do you, when you hear the word assessment, what words or word come out from your mind? Kay isang word lang po, one or two, when you hear the word assessment. Okay, we have the exam, we have evaluation, exams, testing, test, okay, judgment, measurement, measure, ayan, intervention, test. And I think when you were in your undergrad, especially if you're an uh, education major, you have the course measurement and evaluation. So technically, dito natin pinag-aaralan uh, how to construct exam and how to interpret the assessment of those exams. Okay, another thing here, collection of data, measure of learners' achievements. So let's now define what do we mean by assessment. So assessment, by definition, is a continuous and systematic process. So it means it's a continuous, technically it's a cyclic process and a systematic because there's a step-by-step -step procedure if we're going to assess students. And it's a collection, technically, of qualitative and quantitative information uh, designed to improve, demonstrate, and inquire about students' learning. Question, bakit there is the term qualitative and quantitative? Qualitative, it is there's a description kasi we need to give feedback to our students if they're really learning. Quantitative, because most of the time, assessment will also be used in research that has a numerical value. So we can now determine, di ba? Pag, pag nagbibigay tayo ng summative examination uh, or summative uh, assessment, we have the idea, ah, okay, uh, below the mean ng score ng students ko. Ano ko yung ibig sabihin nun? Or sometimes in our uh, evaluation course, there's a skew to the left or skew to the right. Ayan, so parang review natin sa measurement and evaluation. Okay, so what is the number five uh, uh, recommended by the PPST? So we have here, first, we need to apply a variety of assessment tools and strategies. So hindi na tayo the old way that we just do a summative examination, paper, and test. So sometimes, like uh, the next speaker will show to you that there are authentic assessments that we can really assess the students' uh, learning. And another thing is we need to in, uh, use the assessment data in variety of ways to inform and enhance the teaching and learning process and programs. And lastly, we need to give a necessary feedback about learning outcomes to our students. So that's technically the three main reasons why we do assessment. 